It rained all day yesterday and all last night. Now it's just wet and it's still raining. You know what's really the most important thing about using the M50 and using any camera isn't really all of the gear. I mean, I know I love learning more about gear. I love getting more gear, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the story. 90% of your video is story. Probably 5% is editing, 5% is equipment, but 90% is story. It doesn't matter how good your editing is, people aren't gonna watch your videos if there's no story. They're setting up for Christmas on the square today, so maybe I get some setup video. If you're wondering why I've been doing so many whip transitions recently, I'm gonna do a video on that. Uh, I'm not just doing it for no reason or because it looks cool. I mean, it does look cool, but there's a specific reason why I've been doing a lot of whip transitions recently. Until a few years ago, I think storytelling on YouTube was really misunderstood. Now in the last few years, we've been inundated with tons and tons of content on storytelling, and I'm not here to throw any of that out. In fact, what I'm basically here to do is to expose my audience, which I know are a lot of newer storytellers who haven't created a lot of content, into how to tell story and why story is so important. You cannot have a plot to a video and yet have really good story and consequentially, you can have a plot in a video and have no story. Let's go on. Look at any of your favorite YouTube storytellers and go back and watch the earliest videos. You'll see that a lot of them had really terrible storytelling when they first started out. You look at me, I think I'm a fairly good storyteller. When I started this weekly vlog one year ago, literally one year on the 7th, I posted my first video in a weekly series where I said, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to post one video every week. The storytelling was horrible. Horrible. My b-roll was okay, my framing was fine, my audio was pretty good, but the storytelling? Almost non-existent. Now, my number one tip for storytelling, I know it's kind of lame, but it's just start telling stories. It doesn't matter what else you get from this video, just start telling stories. When you start telling stories, then you'll figure out how you like to tell stories. Then you'll figure out what kind of stories you like to tell. Because when I started this YouTube channel, I was doing totally different videos than I'm doing right now. And then I switched to a different type of video. And now I've switched to an entirely different type of video. You're not going to be able to figure out which niche you're trying to get into or how you want to tell stories in that niche if you haven't been creating. This camera is such an amazing storytelling tool because it helps you get good footage, good content, while you're also telling stories. And I have so many tutorials right now and I'm creating more and more every week on how to get better images and tell better stories with this camera. But if you're just watching my videos and learning my stuff and they're not creating, that's cool with me too. But I really want you to take the things that I've shared with you and use them for creating your own content. That's what the entire purpose of my channel right now is for. It's to help people get excited about creation and learn how to create better. Now, I already have a video about three tips that really help me with my storytelling, and I'll link that above. Go check that out if you're looking for more concrete tips. And if you're looking for more concrete tips, let me know down in the comment section and I can definitely address that. But this is more, I don't know, an inspirational video, just kind of encouraging people to go out and to create. And I know that it's really hard to create 
when you're getting absolutely zero traction and no one's watching your content. But you know what? When I started creating one year ago, I was kind of bummed that we didn't get much traction. But, but now looking back, I don't want traction on a lot of those older videos because they want really good work. Even if they got thousands of views or tens of thousands of views, I probably wouldn't have gotten any subscribers because people would have looked back at them and said, wow, this guy's horrible. But now people can not only see where I've come from and my progression as a videographer, filmmaker, and storyteller. My battery died. Gotta love that M50 life. A anyway, what I was about to say is it's in the title. I'm starting a new hashtag, hashtag M50 stories. This hashtag is going to be a hashtag where all of us in the M50 squad are going to be able to support each other's channels and watch each other's videos and take notes and give tips to other M50 shooters. And I want to create a community that's excited about telling amazing stories. Though I do have a question for some of you. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to use hashtag. I know that's not a very millennial thing to say, but I've put the same hashtag in several of my videos and only the first video that I put that hashtag in actually showed up under that hashtag. If you know what's going on there, please let me know because I would like to be able to use this hashtag on YouTube to create this community. Now, I also recently got a Twitter, so you can follow me at the Carly Crew and start using this hashtag also on Twitter, not just on YouTube, and I would really love to get this hashtag trending. Now, what I hope this video did is encourage you to start getting out and making stories even before you become a good storyteller. Because until you start making stories, you're not going to be as good of a storyteller as you want to be. If you found this video helpful, why don't you give me a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and more tutorial content as well. And I'll see you all in the next video.